Hello friends, I am uh, Dr. G. N. Goel, Delhi based and uh, I am a practicing interventional pain and spine specialist. And for uh, today's talk, let's talk about beyond my regular speciality that is spine and pain management. As a pain specialist, I am looking after the cancer patients also. And as we know, advanced cancer patients suffering from pain and too much pain. So as we know that all of us are actually doing a lot of things for public awareness. We are looking for, we want the public to know about the cancer diagnosis as soon as possible. Hospitals, government, doctors, nursing homes, corporate hospitals, everybody is looking for an early diagnosis. But the hard fact is that, that in spite of having best diagnosis and best treatments, 70% cancer patients are suffering from advanced stage of cancer and the most important being the pain, suffering and in the advanced cancer stage. We all know that in advanced cancer patients for pain management, there is a gold standard in the, forms of, in the form of morphine and other opioids. But now in today's, uh, in the today's world of technology and advancement in technology and techniques, we can talk about something which is way beyond this conservative management of morphine pain management. And about this morphine pain, uh, if you talk about uh, something beyond this morphine pain management, there are so many minimally invasive pain uh, relief procedures that can be used and at least in the advanced stage of cancers, so patients suffering from unbearable pain, we can provide them a pain free or with minimum pain, the life uh, is pain free and full of dignity or if not pain free then at least minimum, minimal level of pains till they are in this world. So coming to the point that what are these minimally invasive pain relief interventions for advanced cancer patients. We can broadly categorize in two different things. One is invasive and one is minimally invasive. So as far as minimally invasive concerned, there are things like neurolytic blocks, radiofrequency ablations. These are the two main uh, criteria or two main basis that we, what we can talk about. So in radiofrequency ablation, there is the, the basis of radiofrequency ablation is pain interruption at various level, right from the peripheral pain receptors to the central central pain perception mechanism that is our brain. Anywhere we can interrupt the interrupt the pain with the help of either neurolysis or radiofrequency ablations. So with the, uh, neurolysis we can do with alcohol, phenol, and for radiofrequency ablation we have very good, very advanced machines of so RF machines. So now there is a general consensus is there that we keep waiting for the patients that first we try conservative management and then, we, then when, when we see that conservative management is not working and then we uh, think about, talk about interventions, minimally invasive pain interventions. But now the scenario is changing. We should think of these minimally invasive pain interventions in a bit early stage of advancement of disease. The reason being that these are very target specific interventions. So if the pain is localized to one part of the body, say in <coughs> GI cancers, abdominal pain, in spine cancers, there is a spine pain, in other part of the body, it can be brachial neuralgia, pain covering one part, uh, the whole upper limb, something like that. So in the early stages of advancement, if we use these interventions, we can provide patients a very good quality of pain relief. When we talk about the conservative management, of course, in the advancement of disease, when there are multiple metastases in all over the body and there are multiple source of pain, then we need to give something which acts systemically at multiple sites. So then we can think, then we should uh, or we must give oral form of medicines or injectable medicines, preferably oral medicines that have its, its effect on all over the body. But in early stages, when there is single metastasis, when there is a localized advanced growth and there is a localized pain syndrome, I think interventions they work the best. So they are neurolysis, radiofrequency ablation, and secondly, I would like to I would like to talk uh, I would like to talk specifically about the spine metastasis, metastatic spine fracture, which is very very common in case of CA prostate, CA breast, and some other cancers. 
and because of this spine metastasis they causes a spine fracture all of us know that and because of this spine fractures actually the quality of life of the patient it uh, it decreases drastically so at least our main target basically there we have we have main two targets one the pain relief good pain relief and second to improve the quality of life of the patient and specifically if we talk about the metastatic spine fractures the quality of life in addition to a severe pain it decreases a lot so by doing vertebroplasty or kyphoplasty we can Im improve the pain levels the pain relief levels drastically as well as we can make the patient mobile so all in all we can in, uh, increase the quality of life drastically so vertebroplasty or kyphoplasty these are two interventions again in case of spine fracture metastatic metastasis induced spine fractures so it works fantastically now coming to the second part where we can use certain implants intrathecal implants where we can either we can use spinal cord stimulators or we can use intrathecal drug delivery system that is uh, morphine implants these are two very advanced pain management systems which can actually uh, improve the quality of life in terms of pain relief so these are the these are the various options which we can offer our patients to give them a good pain relief as well as good quality of life thank you